Hello Virgo and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue and today I'm going to be doing your July general reading. We're first going to take a look at the overall energy with the oracle cards and then we'll get some more details with Tarot. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. Okay, let's go ahead and get into your reading. So the overall energy is a higher power. You are having some um, perhaps intuition nudges about the direction that you want to take in your life. I feel like a lot of you may be actually starting like new phases of your life and kind of wondering what direction to go in. So the higher power is tuning into your intuition, getting your mind super quiet, um, trying to spend time by yourself um, and not thinking about other things, you know, like work or relationships or anything, just getting really super quiet, perhaps spending time in nature. Um, and you know, walking in um, grass, barefooted if you can, those types of things, taking a long bubble bath can sometimes get you into a place where your mind is just, just really quiet and um, allows you to allow those, you know, um, oh, the tensions of everyday life, the anxieties to kind of melt away and listen to your intuition and your heart. Yeah, chop wood. This is about not necessarily trying to force something new in your life. Um, the new is on the way and you're stepping into a new phase, but chop wood, chop wood is about doing those daily rituals that you need to do in order to take care of yourself and to allow those new things to come in. And for some of you, it could be, especially with this higher power, about putting those like daily spiritual rituals into practice every single day if you can. So meditating even for five minutes really will help. Um, you know, taking time to walk in nature, journal, um, you know, just kind of like, get into the mindset that, you know, certain rituals are good for you. I feel like, you know, it's, um, what do we have on here? Unfinished symphony. There's something in your life that you're trying to finish up. That's that chapter that you're trying to finish up and you're trying to start the new chapter and you could be in between kind of like chapters in your life or phases and chopping wood is about just putting into practice those things that are good for you that help you to take care of yourself and by doing that you'll also bring in some um, new energies okay so I do feel like it'll help you to finish out this last chapter that you're in and kind of get focused for the new chapter and not to worry if you don't know like the path really in front of you by doing the the daily rituals you know um, making your bed cleaning the kitchen uh, taking the dog for a walk those daily things add up and what happens is that then all of a sudden they're they're so routine that um, you can start having your mind to get much more calmer okay really nice okay so we're gonna take a look at your past energy first Page of Pentacles, this is learning something new, okay? And we're gonna clarify all these with the light seers. Queen of Wands, that's getting that new inspiration, knowing that you're going in a new direction. And Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands is a very fast moving energy. And on the bottom you have Magician, yes. You're really trying to manifest this new phase. You're trying to maybe even bring it in a little bit faster than it is wanting to come in. I do think that it has started and part of it could be <laughs> that you're starting your new phase. Um, and when you start your new phase, there's a lot of new and sometimes that brings anxiety because it's just unfamiliar. It's not that it's bad, it's just unfamiliar. And the other thing is, is that when you start a new um, chapter in your life, a lot of times it's easy to let go of those routine things that we need to do for ourselves to keep us in that really grounded 
place. Eating healthy foods. Um, for some reason, they're saying floss your teeth, <laughs> that type of thing. Like just really getting back into those routines. I think for some of you, you've had like a flurry of activity. Perhaps you've started a new job, moved to a new city, started a new relationship. You know, there's something brand new in your life and it could be getting you a little bit off of those self-care um, routines that you normally do. And with this page of pentacles, this is learning something new. And once again, I think that, you know, if it's a new relationship, you're learning something new about yourself and how you um, work in a relationship. If it's a new job, you may be, you know, having to meet new people, learn new skills, that type of thing. If it's, you know, um, if, if it's even a new city, right? You have to learn where's the new grocery store and then you have to learn where everything is in the grocery store. That whole um, scenario, I just feel like there's a lot of new in your life and by going back to what you know works for you will help you to um, stay grounded during this time. Okay, now, Let's see what your present energy is. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and Two of Cups. Really nice. With Five of Pentacles on the bottom. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles on the bottom means that you are kind of sad about something. Uh, you may feel a little bit abandoned or just a sense of sadness. And I think it really is because you're stepping into this new chapter. And when we step into new, Virgo, it means that you've had to leave something else behind. Because in order to make room for new, you have to give up something old. And you may be, in a way, just kind of like um, a nostalgic type of feeling. Yeah, it kind of like... A nostalgic type of feeling of missing your old life so like if you've moved to a new city then all of a sudden you know you're missing your old friends if you moved on to a new job you're missing you know knowing where everything is in the new office you know how to work the copier or I don't know you know like um, you know all those little things that you have to learn when you go to a new job just the the day in day out type thing because underneath that we have the star and I think you know that you have to go through this little period of sadness because this is leading you to something bigger that you've really been hoping for. The star is hopes and dreams. Just, you know, really wishing for something really spectacular and, um, and because You've had to leave something or someone behind in order to go over, to go after your hopes and dreams. You are having this little spell of perhaps a little bit of nostalgic sadness, okay? Um, but we have the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. This is you planting your seeds in a new situation, um, putting your time and effort into building something that's good for you. And I really love that energy. You know, like you've really taken some time to figure out that something in the past was not working for you. And even though you've moved on from it, you kind of still kind of miss it, right? Because it was just familiar. But this is, you know, definitely you trying to move on to something new. And with the Two of Cups, I feel like for some of you, it could be a relationship. You may have left another relationship in hopes of building something stable, right? Because Pentacles is about stability, groundedness, you know, trying to build something stable. There are a lot of Pentacles on the table. And so a lot of times that does talk about like career and finances. And with the Two of Cups, this could be somebody coming into your life that is a love connection, but it can also be a partner. So if you're trying to start a new business, or a new career, um, something like that. There's going to be somebody that comes on your path that helps you in this new chapter, um, even if it's not a love connection, although it could be, it definitely could be. Um, and yes, and they're pointing out to me again, the higher power, like just listening to your tra your intuition will help you to transition through this, this time period. And I think you know intuitively that you have to go through this little dip, and it's not a plunge, <laughs> so Virgo, it's just a little dip. You have to go through this little transitional dip 
um, in order for you to really take off and go in a good direction in the future. Okay, and it doesn't, it's not like bad. It's not like a tower moment or anything like that. I think it's just this um, sense of you don't know exactly, like there's a lot of over, I feel like you're overwhelmed. I think that that's the feeling. Okay, so in the future we have judgment, five of wands, nine of wands, and on the bottom the hermit. I do feel like some of you, if this, you're, you know, resonating that this is a love connection, I do see that you may be kind of, you know, solitary for a while. Um, you know, and once again, I get the sense maybe some of you have moved to a new city, something like that. You're kind of, you know, in a solitary um, type of situation, but you're really wanting to work with others or have things work out for you you're willing to put the work into it and with the three of wands you've been waiting a while for for something to happen and with the queen of pentacles it is going to happen you do have a lot of good wow and then uh, underneath that we have the wheel of fortune and we have the strength yes you have the strength to go through this little transitional dip um, while you're learning new things and not to think that this is, you know, something, um, it's just a newness. It's just, I think you're just feeling overwhelmed by all the newness. Okay. So in the future, we have the judgment, the five of wands and the nine of wands. The so nine of wands talks about you being, you know, this is the wounded warrior card. It's about, you know, being, going through a lot of, um, a lot of stuff to get to this point, a lot of conflict. But with the judgment card, this is kind of like a second chances. So it could be your second chance. Um, and it doesn't necessarily, it sometimes can be about reconciliation, but sometimes it's really just about your second chance to start your own business or to uh, go into a new direction in your career, you know, a second chance of, you know, love, but it could be with somebody new because we do have a lot of new on the board and we are going to clarify these, but there is a lot of new on the board. For some of you, it could be a reconciliation um, because we have the two of cups, but that's really um, all we have here. But judgment is really about you making the decision to go in this new direction and not to worry about the conflict that it may cause in your life. Some of you may feel like by going in this new direction, you're going to cause conflict with those around you. So we'll get some clarification for that. Okay, let's go back up to your past and we're gonna clarify, clarify these with the light series tarot. Yeah, the page of pentacles with the ace of pentacles. I just see lots of new. That's why I don't feel like, um, you know, that this is a reconciliation. I really feel like this is brand new. And for a lot of you, this is a brand new start. Um, with all the pentacles, I feel like it's a brand new start in career or finances. Some of you may be making judgment calls about how you want to spend your money. You may have been a person that liked to spend your money and now you may be changing and saving your money um, which you know could cause conflict with you know friends or family or your loved one um, something like that okay Queen of Wands we have the Queen of Cups really nice energy like you're inspired to do something new with your life I really get that sense and you want it to come from your heart like I don't feel like you're trying to make this money or this career change um, just just for financial gain I, and obviously you may want to make also more money in your career change but you're also doing it from your heart as if you want to do something better for the collective Okay, with the Knight of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is a fast-moving energy, and the Seven of Wands is kind of some resistance. And I feel like there could be somebody or something in your life that is um, causing some resistance about you moving forward. And it could be, let's go ahead and clarify the Seven of Wands. I, I'm not sure that this is really you, Virgo. I have a feeling that this could be something external. Let's see. Magician, 
the devil, and the ten of swords with five of cups on the bottom. Okay, so I would say that there's somebody in your life um, that is causing you to feel this five of cups keeps coming up. There's somebody in your life that is making you feel very sad about the changes that you're making in your life. Even though I really do feel like these changes are good for you. Someone is kind of making you feel sad about them. Um, but you are going to have victory with this. And what you don't understand is that there are, there the divine is helping you. Okay, so you, this little transitional sadness that you have to go through is part of this. And look at this, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Like this is definitely going to work out, but I feel like there's somebody in your life that is really manipulative because we have the magician and the devil. The magician is, um, you know, you manifesting something in your life, but it also represents manipulation. And with the devil, this is very toxic. Um, and then the Ten of Swords. There's a definite ending here with somebody that's super toxic and manipulative. Um, so this person could still kind of be in your life. This is your past energy. I'm not sure that they're actively in your life anymore. This could be what you've left in order to start this new life. So this could be a past lover. This could be a past... Um, you know, job, it could be a past career, it could be a past city, you know, or even a neighborhood, like if you've, you know, moved to the other side of the city or something like that. Um, this is an energy of something that you've left, but with the seven of wands, I feel like this energy is still like in your aura and you're having to resist it from bringing you down even further. I think this five of cups is that this manipulative energy is still in your energy field and it's kind of causing you some sadness for some reason. And what you're wanting to do is just move forward quickly. You're trying to move forward as quickly as you can to get away from this energy. And Virgo, I don't blame you. This is not a very good energy. It is an energy you do want to move away from. So this is you though, getting up, up above. The seven of wands is getting on top of something negative and you definitely are getting on top of it. But for some reason, um, you know, this person, I, I feel like it's a person, but it could be a situation is still in your life. It's kind of like if you have been divorced and still have to deal with your ex with child, like joint custody, you know, so you have to see them occasionally. It's that type of energy where you would like to never see this person or deal with this person again, but for some reason during this time, you may have to. Um, it may be that maybe you've quit your job, you've taken a new job, but you have to finish out because we had the unfinished symphony. Like you have to finish out um, a project or something or you have to stay at your old job for like a month and somebody at your workplace is really causing you like a lot of anxiety. Um, the only thing I'm going to say is that you know, uh, it is short term. I don't see this energy staying very long. It is short term. And if that gives you any, you know, solace, um, Virgo, I hope so. I'd like to give you a big hug <laughs> because this is, um, it's a tough energy to be dealing with. But you have so much new. Um, so know that that energy is leaving your life. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles, you have the King of Pentacles. This could be somebody new that comes on your path. It, the gender doesn't matter, but this is somebody that's really grounded, financially stable. And once again, I feel like this could be, you know, um, a career oriented type of reading. And this is somebody that can maybe help you financially to start your new business or that type of thing. And with the king, you know, it is about, um, somebody that really kind of has a take charge kind of attitude and has a lot of knowledge about finances. 
So this could be, you know, even somebody that's older than you and it could become a love connection, but at the same time, I think it also could just be a financial advisor, somebody that's going to advise you in your next financial steps. Okay, so with the Seven of Pentacles, I'm really interested in this because this is what you want to put your time and money and effort into. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Temperance, Eight of Pentacles, with Nine of Swords on the bottom. I think a lot of you are really kind of overwhelmed, kind of concerned about finances. Um, you know, you're you're willing to put in the work, you're willing to put your your time and energy into your work because we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Seven of Pentacles is planting the seeds. Eight of Pentacles is, you know, nurturing those seeds along so that they bring in things. And what you need to know is that this energy is coming in really slowly. Like you are going to harvest. You are going to have those finances coming in. It's just taking its time and temperance is an energy of waiting patience you know needing patience knight of pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck so it's coming in but the nice thing i like about knight of pentacles is it's coming in strong when it comes in it will be so grounded this change that you're making in your life is really going to bring you a lot of stability in your life in very many different ways, but especially, I think, financially. Um, with the Temperance card, you also have to know that this is about divine timing. This is your angels and your spirit guides working behind the scenes to have this come true for you, and they don't want you to worry. The Nine, nine of Swords is, you know, the sleepless nights. They're saying, don't worry about it. We've got your back on this. So um, it is going to work out for you. Okay, now let's take a look at the Two of Cups. What do we have here? Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands, with Page of Pentacles on the bottom. Okay, so with the Two of Cups, you know, this could be a partnership. So if you're starting a new business, this could be somebody you're going into business with. It could also be this King of Pentacles that comes in to help you out financially, but it can also be a new love on your path. Um, the only, you know, the thing is, is that you have the Three of Pentacles. This is somebody you really want to work with. And with the Eight of Pentacles, you want to take a lot of action, a lot of communication about this. But with the Eight of Swords, you're kind of up in your head about it. Will it work out? <laughs> so when this person comes on your path or if they're on your path, you, you may have doubts about it. But um, let's see what the uh, Spirit says about that. Two of Wands. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. Yeah, this this connection that's on, it's in the present. So this person may have recently come on your path or they will very quickly. Lots of Wands energy here. So this is Aries Sag Leo. So it could be one of those that you're dealing with. Um, but this is somebody that's going to help you go into a new direction and to put down the burdens of the past. Really nice. And I can't say that. I, I know it has the two of cups. I think it's more of a soulmate energy. I'm not sure that this is a love connection, but it's definitely somebody that's going to help you through this transitional period to get to the place where you want to go. All right, with the judgment, we have the page of wands. Okay, the page of wands is kind of like a burst of inspiration. Um, and so with the page of wands, you know, it could be this person that is coming in and giving you the inspiration you need in order to make the decision. The judgment card is also like the crossroads card. So it's about making a decision, being inspired about which way you want to go. So Virgo, if right now you're kind of like, I'm not really sure what direction I want to go in. I'm not Sure, is my career on the right path? I'm making these changes in my life, but am I going in the right direction? This person is going to give you the inspiration to know that, yes, this is the way you want to go. All right, the five of wands is a sense of conflict. And with the high priestess, it means that you know that there is going to be this little bit of conflict in your life. The King of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you know intuitively 
um, who this person is and the conflict that they may be causing. And it is possibly causing you a little bit of anxiety. But once again, the King of Wands, I, you know, there is so much fire energy here. You know, once again, Sa uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries um, could be somebody that you're dealing with. But the King of Wands, you know that you need to get into the sense of, I know what I want and I'm going to go after it. The King of Wands knows what they want and is willing to put the work in and just go out and get it. And you, intuitively, you know, at some point you have to make the decision on how you're going to go forward. And even if this person that this soulmate that comes on your path has suggestions and stuff, remember, you can listen to the suggestions, but then decide for yourself what direction you want to go in. And I feel like that's what you're going to do. Like you're going to really listen to your intuition. You're going to take the advice um, listen to it, but then intuitively, you're going to know what direction you need to go in. Okay, the Nine of Wands, you have the Hermit card again, the Three of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Really nice, with Five of Pentacles on the bottom. So I do feel like this whole entire situation, I feel like you're flipping the tables on somebody in the past, this manipulative person in the past. I feel like you're flipping the tables on them. Like you are gaining so much uh, wisdom about yourself and about the world, about the world of business, about finance. You're gaining so much information and you have these healthy, healthy boundaries now because you're going through this situation. And this is actually going to cause this. I think it's this a person from the past, this manipulative person, that, that energy that you're trying to get away from, I think you're actually going to almost like break their heart because um, they're trying to manifest something not good for you. And in the, in the end, you're going to get the good. It's like karma comes in with the judgment card, you know, um, there is a judgment made and I think, you know, we do have um, indication that the divine is working in this situation and karma is going to come into your favor and because of that, they are going to be hurt and you are going to heal. Really nice energy. This five of pentacles on the bottom, I think that this is where you may feel at this time, you may feel abandoned by this manipulative person. Um, or rejected or just feel, you know, like how could they do that to me? But you're stepping into a new world. You're getting, gaining all of this new knowledge and then look at, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, this, <laughs> okay, this is definitely karma, karma coming in to take care of that person. Um, you have the justice and the judgment card. This is karma. This is karma taking care of you, Virgo, and taking care of this other person. And you are going to be taken care of in a very nice way. It's going to happen quickly. And this whole situation is really going to transform your life. Like, um, I think some of you may be going through a financial difficult, you know, time period or just concerned about your finances. And, you know, this whole entire thing, this is incredible. The whole bottom of the deck is incredible. Whole thing is putting you onto a new path. And, you know, with the Hierophant, it is about you learning new things, becoming a teacher. It's kind of, um, it's kind of like a lot of people are going to look at you and say, wow, like Virgo got through that and look at how great they are doing. Um, it's a really nice energy. And I think right now, some of you may feel kind of alone because we do have the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups showing up a couple of times. You may feel like you're kind of going through this by yourself. So I really suggest that you talk to your angels and spirit guides, give up, give some of your anxiety up to them. I do feel like some of you may be overwhelmed in this situation. Go ahead and surrender, you know, all of your anxiety and angst and just know that this is going to work out for you. Um, you know, pray to your angels. Just ask. Yes, just pray to your angels. Give them your anxiety and your angst 
Ask them to help you when you're feeling kind of down. Reach out to friends and family when you need to. Don't feel like you are alone ever in this situation. You always have your spirit guides and your angels. Um, and know that you very shortly will have someone, if that person hasn't shown up yet, that person, a soulmate of some sort, to kind of just help you through this situation. And it might just be like a really good friend, you know, or something like that. But somebody is really going to step in. Your angels are sending you somebody to help you during this transition. Okay, so... Here is your creativity oracle card, wounds. Withheld support from the past can cause low self-esteem that cripples action. Yeah, and I think that this person from the past, that manipulative energy that is still kind of like clinging on to you, um, they, you know, they may have caused some wounds that are causing you to have low self-esteem at this time. That's kind of like, you know, part of that five of pentacles, five of cups energy. Um, realize that things that they may have said to you or done to you um, are a reflection of them and not of you, sweet Virgo. Okay, um, really step, try to step back into your power. Try to do things that help you to feel more confident in yourself. And you know that you are taking those steps. You are on the right path. Sometimes all we need to know is I am on the right path. I'm going in the right direction, right? And you are, and you have wonderful things coming to you. Okay, they're pointing out once again, the chop wood. Go back to those daily routines that help you to feel grounded, whether that is meditating, spending time in nature, taking a bubble bath, journaling, you know, whatever it is. Um, I know when I'm kind of going through tough times, I, I get kind of slack about, you know, cleaning up the kitchen and making my bed. And sometimes, you know, I'll set the buzzer for 15 minutes and I'll just say, okay, I'm going to clean as much as I can for 15 minutes, right? And it's amazing what you can get done in 15 minutes. Um, just try to, you know, clean, uh, keep your environment as clutter-free as possible. That always helps when you're feeling overwhelmed. It just seems to help your mind not be so cluttered too. And just, you know, eat healthy, exercise, you know, um, don't be compassionate with yourself. Don't try to do everything all in one day right? Um, just realize that you are kind of going through a transitional period and to be kind to yourself. Okay, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. I love this. This is the Lover's Oracle card and I really do love this, um, this message because we do have a lot of waiting energy and it's about you may be trying to push through this phase a little bit faster than, you know, um, then, well, then your angels want you to, <laughs> and there's a reason for that, right? There's always a reason and they just want you to be a little bit more compassionate and loving towards yourself. And even though this time period is a little difficult and maybe a little overwhelming, there are, there's strength that you're gaining because of it, because you are putting yourself into this new environment. And I do feel like this was a a choice that you made Virgo and you may be like doubting should I have done this or whatever but no there was something toxic that you were trying to get away from whether that was a job or a person some situation it's good that you moved away from this even though you are going through like a transitional phase um, kind of missing the past missing what was already known and stepping into this new energy well, Virgo, this was a lovely reading. I know it's kind of a tough time for you, but the cards really indicate you have such a positive future and the steps that you're taking today are just getting one step, one day closer to that beautiful new future. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I really did enjoy doing it for you. And once again, if you would please consider like, sharing, or subscribing. And I wish you lots of love and light and peace in this situation and all your situations. I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.